Teaching methods can be a challenge. There's a lot of material to cover and not a lot of time to teach it in. On top of that, students don't always start the year with a perfect recollection of their previous year's schooling. So it'd be nice to have a resource that fills in the gaps when you can't be around. That is why we've created online tutorials for Year 12 Maths Methods. We cover all the basic terminology, symbols and concepts and serve as a great revision tool or to help them catch up on things they may have missed. Here's just a few scenes from our collection of composite function tutorials. Composition of functions. So, a composite function is just a function inside another function, something like this. Normally we just put numbers in other functions. So if you've got f of x equals this stuff over here, f of zero would be replacing all the x's with zero, f of h would be replacing all the x's with h, and f of h plus one would be replacing all the x's with h plus one. And we've got f of g of x, so g of x is inside f. Um, it would look like this. Basically you just replace all the x's with g. The little o is sort of short for of, right? So if you've got of, that actually means containing. So if you have a glass of water, it means a glass containing water. In the same way, f of g is an f containing g. And with composition of functions, the range of the inside function has to fit in the domain of the outside function. So if we've got something like this, Let's say g of x can create values from negative infinity all the way up to infinity, and that's represented by this little rectangle here. But f of x can only accept zero to infinity. So if we tried to chuck all these numbers into f of x, it would just sort of bounce out. It wouldn't fit in it properly. If you've got these two functions here and you want to see if f of g works, um, figure out the domain and range of each function. This is your first step. And it's like always a good idea when you're doing this to sketch a graph. So we can draw a little diagram, and I always sketch these diagrams whenever I'm doing um, composition of functions, um, where you've got g of x and f of x, and then you just have basically the domain here, the range there, the domain here, and the range there. And then it's really easy to see if the range of g of x fits in the domain of f of x. And in this case, it doesn't fit in there. So, f of g, nah, -uh, not gonna work. 